man, I'm a glutton for punishment. I should have went with the should have went with the Ford, but I went with the Dorman. Look what happened. All right, I was not going to make a video on this, but I am now. I might help someone. See where it says rear left door ajar. Now in real life, it's not uh, fluctuating like that. That's just the uh, speed of these frames. So, so this, just started doing that, and the only thing that's changed was I just replaced the door lock actuator right here. I just took all that out, and the reason I did that is because it wouldn't unlock and lock with my key fob. So uh, what I did was I went and got probably mistake number one. This, got it from AutoZone. They actually matched the price of Amazon. It was about 80 bucks door lock actuator. Of course, we see where it's made. And replaced this. Now, it's not fun getting into a uh, door panel, but what happens is when this piece goes down all the way, it presses a switch and lets your computer know that the door is closed. Well, for some reason, this one worked. I mean, it didn't unlock and lock, but that one does not. I'm about to tear into it. All right, for the second time, first thing you want to do is pull this piece off here. It just pops off. Then there's a bolt right here. I think it's eight millimeter. It's actually a six millimeter. So you got one there, and you got one here, and one here. There's a 10 millimeter behind this little plastic thing, and the way that I got it is I use this little pick and I pull this off. And there it is. It's actually an 8 millimeter. Now, once you get that out, that out, and the two at the bottom, this thing just lifts up and right out. This is a much better design than that. And speaking to uh, you, speaking to someone that's taken that door panel off, or all these door panels off, numerous occasions, probably 20 times, with them little Christmas tree plastic things that keep breaking. Well, this doesn't have any of that. This actually is going to come out really good. See, it just comes right off. Very simple. Then you've just got to you've just got to squeeze that together and pull that out. Very simple, and then take your electrical cable off. All right, so what I did was I, I just loosened these up and then I shut it while they're loose because I figured maybe it would adjust it somehow. So I did that. And guess what, it fixed it. Let's see if it opens. Huh. So I just did not have it adjusted, I, I guess. All right, let's see. So what I think I'm going to do is now that I shut it, with these nuts loose, it must have automatically adjusted it. Now I'm going to tighten them up. Nuts, I mean bolts. This is like a Torx, um, what is that? A T. What to do one hand. Light is still on. Keys. 
right. All doors are shut. Key and ignition. There it goes again. Interesting. So what that tells me is that when I loosen that thing, it adjusts itself, but when I tighten, it's not adjusted. And there you go. That's probably the tolerances of this um, Chinese-made part. Crap. I'm going to loosen them a little bit. Shut the door. And it fixed it. So, I wonder if I can waddle. I'm not sure. I don't want to leave those loose. Hmm. Let me think. I notice these screws have blue Loctite on it. I wonder if they're not supposed to be tightened way or torque down very much and just put the Loctite on it. I may resort to that. Because the thing doesn't seem to move that much. That's what it's supposed to work like, but it only works that way if I keep these loose. It's bizarre. So that means there's some type of adjustment on here. This thing must be not exactly machined correctly like the old FOMO Co. Ford one was. Man, oh man. It's got a lifetime warranty. I don't know. What I might do is put some Loctite on that barely screw it in and see if it holds it after I shut it overnight and if not or I'm gonna look and see what an original Ford one cost anything short of like twice the price I'll probably just bring that one back and get a Ford one dookie I got it to work but what I did was on the this is the old one when I bolted it up to the door I'd shut it the door without it tightening any then I slowly opened the door put some Loctite on one then tighten one real tight check the ignition still working fine open and close the door again then I tightened another one up real tight did the same thing again, and then I tightened the third one up. And then, of course, I put the Loctite. It seems to be working. Uh, there, there seems to be very little adjustment, if any, on the door itself. How I fixed it, and um, this is the part number, um, 937677. And if this does not hold up, it seems to be working now, uh, then it does have a lifetime warranty, and AutoZone will get it back. And then I will go with the original FOMOCO Ford one. But uh, let me see what the price is on a Ford one. Well, you'll see I'll put a clip. The original Ford part really was the exact same price on Amazon. The problem with Amazon is you don't know if you're actually getting a real Ford part or a, um, or a counterfeit. There's a lot of counterfeit Ford parts on Amazon so and there's no warranty either but if I get this I got a lifetime warranty so I'm just gonna hope for the best I hope that helps <laughs>